Hello and welcome to SciJoy. Today we're going to count calories using a blowtorch. On SciShow, Hank taught you the deal with fat and here we're going to teach you the deal with calories. A calorie is a measure of energy and energy is the ability to get stuff done or the ability to do work. And when you're talking about nutrition, it's the ability to keep yourself warm, build components, or repair things. To measure the amount of calories in food, it's usually set on fire. They use something called a bomb calorimeter. It's gonna be a container filled with water, and then there's gonna be a smaller container inside. And that's gonna be pressurized and sealed, and you're gonna put the dehydrated sample of food inside of it, and you're gonna ignite it. And this is gonna heat up the bath of water that's surrounding it. Since a calorie is defined as the amount of heat it takes to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius, the heating of the water correlates to how many calories are inside that sample of food. Hank said per gram, fat has about twice as many calories as carbohydrates do. We wanted to test this out. We don't have a bomb calorimeter, but we do have a blowtorch. We used three grams of sugar as our carbohydrate. We lit it on fire and placed it under a can of water. The fire burned out quickly and the temperature rose about 10 degrees. We learned from prior experimentation that we had to get the sugar into a liquid state so it could ignite. For the fat, we used three grams of olive oil. We preheated it with a torch so the oil would burn. As the liquid cooled, we made sure to heat it up with a torch again. Overall, the temperature rose about 38 degrees. These aren't laboratory quality results, but the basic concept that fats store substantially more energy than carbohydrates was evident. You can test small quantities of food at home using a lighter or a match. Make sure you have adult supervision and somebody who knows the flammability of different foods and knows how to put out various kitchen fires. Even if we use a bomb calorimeter, there's still a couple of problems we're gonna run into. Not all the food you eat is gonna be directly converted into energy. Some of it's gonna be lost during digestion and some of it's gonna be excreted. And you don't wanna put every piece of food you're ever gonna eat into a bomb calorimeter and figure out its calorie content. So Wilbur Atwater helped us out with some estimation methods. He tested thousands of samples of food and gave us some guidelines to go by. Atwater measured and analyzed fecal and urine outputs. And from this, he created the Atwater factors. And while the protein, carb, and fat caloric values might change from food to food, in general, if you eat a varied diet, it's gonna average out to be about four calories per gram for proteins and carbohydrates and about nine calories per gram for fats. And this means if you know the basic ingredients of your food, or you know about the fat or carbohydrate or protein content that you're gonna have, you can pretty much calculate the caloric value for any food. Atwater also determined how many calories that humans burn. He put volunteers in chambers and measured the room's temperature rise as they released body heat. And from this, he could figure out how many calories that you were burning during different activities. He also monitored your CO2 and oxygen levels because oxygen is needed for metabolism. And this is how your body converts the food you eat into energy that you can actually use. And by doing this, he correlated body heat and respiration. So now we can just monitor your oxygen levels and know how many calories you burned. If you have any questions or comments, or if you do the experiment at home, please let us know in the comments below. You can also tell us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, or Reddit. And remember, keep exploring.